Hello guys, and welcome back to my Let's Play of this Marvel 2. When we last left off, we had just competed in the Amateur Coliseum Tournament, whatever you want to call it. And now we are going back in to compete in the next level. So, let's get it on. Welcome. Select to uh, rank three. Yep. Huh. Rank three. I'm pretty sure this is the one I need before I can start doing missions again. Who knows? We're gonna find out probably at the end of the tournament. See the first round wuss. What a piece of cake. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna make over for your baby. Mm -hmm. No, it's okay. <laughs> this is a kid's game for God's sake. Making it bad. Nah. Oh well. <laughs> no, not really. Um. Once again, we're competing against rookies in the first round, so it's not gonna be anything too hard. Although these rookies are probably going to be around level 7, 8, I'm guessing. So they're going to be able to see in some punishment a little bit, anyways. <clears throat> hmm. So, I really don't even have to see who to target since they're all rookies. And like I said, it's not going to be that hard. Even though that some of them can with the punishment, but it's not going to be that hard. Probably should have actually used my Quagamon. Oh well. At least by the time I get around to DNA Digivolving them again, Whew. I'm not going to have to worry about anything. Actually, the only thing I'm going to have to worry about once I DNA Digivolve the two Metal Greymons together is figuring out who's going to be my third party mate. Because Red Vegemon's not going to be around. Can I DNA Digivolve him and uh, my Koalgamon together so that. Now I'm going to get up to, I think, level 25-ish, something like that. Huh. I don't know. I'm going to figure that out once uh, Red Vegemon hits his max level. <clears throat> so it's going to be all good. Just, yeah, like I said, I'm just going to have to figure out who, who the hell is going to be my third party mate. I can't even believe I lost so easily. Must be losing some of my touch, but I'm still a bad tamer. Yeah, you are. <clears throat> just saying. Next time I'm really so easy on me, I'll show you the real me. Hey, I mean, if you want, I could show you the real me too, because I'm only, I'm using pretty much my secondary. Uh, what was that? My secondary Digimon. <laughs> I'm not even using pretty much my full party. Sucker. Ooh, Sheena. <clears throat> Please go easy on me, okay? I'll think about it. <laughs> okay, my game promises. I mean, <laughs> I am in this tournament to win it, so. Hmm. Oh. This is not. Well, actually, yeah, it is. It's going to be easy. It's just going to be a little annoying because of Octomon and Gazimon. Octomon can confuse a uh, party mate, which can make things troublesome if you don't take him out fast. And then Gazimon right there, he can stun in it, one of your party mates. So, oh, uh, yeah. And also, if you get stunned, then comes problem of what was it you're you're gonna not be able to potentially attack and you're gonna be missing 
<sighs> so I'd probably recommend going for that dude right there that just hit me. Cause I mean, Devi Devimon, he's not even gonna be that bad. He's only gonna be draining your MP, which I guess possibly in the long run might be troublesome, but it, it's not gonna be that troublesome where it's gonna harm you that badly. Either way, now that we got Ottoman out of the way, we can focus. That might not be good though. <laughs> Although, I guess it's a good thing that I have them equipped. But, uh, I mean, the mites are getting a little ugly. Especially if he gets a poison attack on one of my Digimon. Although, I don't think it's going to carry over to the next round. <sighs> Alright. <clears throat> it's not really even going to matter which one attacks. <laughs> Seeing that actually helps. Although, it really doesn't because of him almost being dead anyways. But a. Uh, Alright. So he should hopefully not be confused anymore. Ooh, Bertrand. There's our final opponent. So I guess my Digimon team didn't change from the last time I fought him. I am sorry that I lost. I hope that you'll be able to. Uh, I hope I'll be able to give you a better fight next time. Till then, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you can you can just send the, my next opponent away. Cause he's not gonna give me any trouble whatsoever. For my loss, I have rank two tomorrow. I'm gonna take you down. All right. Whatever you say, crazy person. No, uh, yeah. I was about to say, I think this is an introduction of the champions in the next round. So, one thing I recommend taking out Raramon as soon as you can because of his Buffalo Breath counterattack, it will confuse your uh, Digimon. So whatever you do, go for him first. So let's pile everyone on him just so he will be knocked out first. And actually, good thing about that is that Red Vegemon is probably not my strongest Digimon of all of them. So this should be good. And even then, I'm, I would imagine that Red Vegemon, considering last round, he's probably going to be helping mo me more than harming me. <clears throat> Alright. So I'm just going to go for a Penguin Mon just in case uh, Red Vegemon actually does snap out confusion. Yeah, and actually, it doesn't even matter which one you go, which Digimon you go for after Raremon. Because I don't think Goblinmon or um, Penguinmon are that threatening. Especially compared to Raremon, no way. They're pretty much kitties, they're not going to be harming you whatsoever. Yeah, and especially since I think this Giga Blast is going to kill him off. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Alright, I guess he can take care of Penguimon if he starts out the confusion. Oh, I guess, yeah, you did. <laughs> I didn't even last that long. 
So his great plan at uh, pretty much messed me up. Yeah, that didn't work out so well for him. Oh well, maybe better luck next time. Whatever the hell that might be. Probably is the next round too. Just because he's a pain in the neck. <laughs> and actually, funny thing is, I think you do fight Bertrand almost every single round of the tournament. If not, I think there's only one or two times that you don't. But still, <sighs> he, he just needs to go. Go, sound for that great. <clears throat> just, just a little cocky boy he is. There that goes. There's about to be Gabumon. Yep. <laughs> All right, so I just won the round three competition. Rank three, whatever. Guessing it's a rookie. Hopefully. Maybe not. I can beat you. <clears throat> Become the hero. Alright, keep on um, dreaming. Next time I'll be the winner, don't forget that. Alright, I, I won't try to lower your self esteem anymore. Actually, I probably will. <laughs> Sorry. All right, it was a rookie tournament. You have a lot of potential train hard. Ooh, we got a toy boat. It's actually, I think, is a level B any gift. Might be mistaken about that, though. Um, just going to transfer both the items over. Um, yeah, level B. So it's almost as good as the toy plane, but not all the way up there. Alright, so now that we became a rookie tamer, we can return back to Skull and get our next mission. <laughs> Mate, rank 3 rookie tamer. I have a new mission. Lately, a group of volunteers might have moved near the city from deeper directory. Scaring your, your next mission is. Huh. And of course, he gets interrupted. Go figure. <sighs> Just can't have nice things, can we? And what do you know? The Blood Knights have been spotted. This can CSI domains. Hmm. I believe those are the first two domains that we ever conquered. Actually, one of them was. <laughs> so the crazy blood knights have reappeared. Operation blood knights now. Hmm. Operation blood knights A. Eh? Wonder what that could be. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Angel Mom mentioned something about the Blood Knights and how they appeared 30 years ago. And how they drove out some of the teamers over to Device Domain. Cringe and escaped. The Blood Knight leader by. Well, led by Cringe and pretty strong. Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> That's a good one. So you can start the Blood Knights hanging in the domains. Yes, sir. I'll get to it, sir. <laughs> this is about to be fun. Oh, and apparently there's a new recruit. Call them sissy blood knights. Um, I'm pretty sure you can be me. So if 
you can't be me. I'm pretty sure you can't be them, but you never know. You might get a weak lane. This lane's on. Lucky loose. Scary, and he's not as good as me, but he's a pretty decent trainer. Well, you can suck on birds when. <clears throat> if I were you, I would follow in the steps of Joy Joy over there. Just me. Oh, you're talking about yourself. Wow, it's about time you admitted it. Hmm. Let's go out on adventure in a domain. La da. Yeah, you could suck one. Still, because they're not that great. <laughs> and Lucky Louis is gonna follow in the footsteps of George Way and surprise you. Because I will teach him well. Besides, <laughs> uh, I love this little common theme right there. Albertson uh, <laughs> uh, never buys everything he'll need. Love it. I always have a good laugh every time that little thing comes up. Alright, so now we have control, and actually, I, one thing I forgot to mention about the whole uh, room over here near the beginning of this Let's Play, all it is is pretty much a little tamer hub for your little squadron. <clears throat> oh crap. Oh crap. Ah. Uh, this is not the time for it, is it? Right, it's only if you buy. So, like that black sword teamer said. Oh god. And this too. <sighs> Great. So, like I was saying, like the black sword teamer said, uh, now, every time you buy an item at one of your, uh, at your guard, guard squad, you will get items in your inventory known as junk parts. And just like the name says, they're junk. And you can't sell them because they're worthless. All you can do is this card. And I believe it's every item you buy, you get one junk part. Or it's like every two items you buy, something like that. Quite annoying. <clears throat> Alright, how about this? If it can be Bertrand, Bertrand, you are a better teamer. <laughs> That's just me. And apparently there's a new tray going on. If you turn a new one, you can get a Megadromon, which is a virus type. And I believe you start seeing Numamon's uh, now in the domains. I don't remember which one it is uh, specific, specific <laughs> I can't even say it uh, Which domain uh, you actually see it in but if you want uh, If you want to get the new one, he's a virus type so, lucky me, I can just go here and get it. <clears throat> oh, yeah, and also, every time you go back and forth in between your little guard post, whatever you want to call it, you will get ID'd for a little while. And now you have the little Seagus. So it can make things easier for you capturing your Digimon of your type. Uh, well, you can pass. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, I just totally switched places with someone and I, I'm just a mysterious person now. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Either way, I'm going to call this an episode because... 
<clears throat> well, we got our, well, we did the rookie tournament, and we also got our new mission. So, until then, see you guys next time, and hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and have a good day, everyone. See you guys in the next episode.